welcome back to my channel. I'm Kathy from Creative Kit Kat. Yes, it's been a few days now since I've actually posted a new video and um, I've actually started working on this new project. So this is the succulent heart that I have actually ordered from Everyday Ideals a few uh, months back. It's one of the first few ones that um, I've actually um recorded for my channel and i'm quite excited because this time around guys i'm actually using my own sparklers to accessorize my this 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 painting look at that i don't know whether you can see but it's um i've decided to add um love um, on the lower right hand corner of the painting itself because this is one of the diamond paintings that I plan to give to my friends when it's finally um, when it's finally uh, Christmas time yeah so I'm actually starting to work on Christmas gifts already and I've sprinkled a lot of um well this lettering is actually in the yellow ab that um i'll be selling later on um please look out for that in my um facebook group so um i actually have for you guys who don't know i actually have a facebook group uh, diamond painting sparklers dash, dash australia and this is one of the things that i'll be selling the ab sparkler uh, ab drill so for you guys who don't know ab drills are aurora borealis drills so it's called aurora borealis and um it has actually an uh, iridescent sheen coated on top of the on top of the drills itself to make it pop out a little bit more so in this particular case i've used the yellow ab drills and you can see over here there are i've sprinkled a bunch of white ones as well all over the canvas it's all over this side as well see uh, later on you'll be able to see it while i do my painting <gasps> oh my god i didn't realize i stuck it oh my god I stuck it to my light pad. <laughs> oh my god. That was so scary. Um, yeah, so I wanted to show you guys some of the AV drills that I have. So, and how I use my AV drill. So, I use it to accent certain things. And this is the AV drill that I have for the white. The white AV drill. And you can see how it sparkles compared to the regular drill yeah so um this is let's work on this while let's while we chat guys so tomorrow is um is monday by the time i post this i hope i'll be able to post this quite quickly but apparently we are now on stage 4 lockdown here in Victoria, guys. Yeah, so for some, for other countries, I guess this is nothing new for you, for you guys. But for us, this is quite, this is a big thing. So essentially, we actually cannot go out of our house um, unless it's only for the four reasons. Well, the only reason is to go to work. To go to go to work to go to uh, what else for um, care for uh, because you're sick you need to go to a hospital to provide care or um, to see a loved one and exercise so those are the only things uh, oh and you can actually go shop as well however um this time round I think the MP will be announcing the premier will be announcing the which industries will act, will stay open during this period. So what he did was that um they he had decided to put our uh Victoria in a state of disaster, which means that we are now going to 
to have a curfew every day. So starting tonight, the curfew will kick in from 8 p.m. at night all the way until uh, 5 in the morning every day until for the next six weeks, which actually starts today until uh, September 13. So that's the target date. And, um, and then all kids will now go back to online learning for all grades because previously actually grade 10, 10 until 12 students actually still goes to school. However, because of this new, because now we are in stage four lockdown, all the kids now can go to, um, have to do online learning which I think is better for the kids and the teachers as well. Yeah, but I'm actually bummed out because, not because of all those other restrictions, it's because now we could only shop within a five kilometer radius. So not only shop, but actually exercise can only be done within a five kilometer radius as well. So that one, the exercise portion is fine with me because there's a park quite near to our place and we could actually go to that park uh, instead of um, going to another park uh, to to get some exercise. And that the park near us actually has an oval. So that's quite good because my husband now is taking up running and jogging. So he likes to jog around the oval. However, at a certain time of day, there's a lot of people actually at the park. There, there's a few families who are actually at the park during that time. During, let's say, um, from 4 p.m. onwards, there's a lot of families um, at the park. So now my husband is like, um forbidding us to actually go to the park as well because <laughs> um we found out that in our suburb there are actually seven active cases going on in our suburb and he got paranoid <laughs> with the fact that um um uh, with the with with the report and then i found out that and then we, I found out that um, now we couldn't go outside of the five kilometer radius. I'm like, how am I supposed to go and shop at Costco? And there's um, a lot of art, um, a lot of shops that are not in the mall near us. We actually go to a different mall, but it's actually about 10 kilometers from us. It's not that far. It's only about 10 to 15 minute drive. However, because of the because of the new restrictions, we couldn't go. So actually, prior to him announcing the changes for the the changes um, earlier today, there was um, like a message circulating around in WhatsApp and in other social media saying that um, we are going on a lockdown. And um, we tried to go to Costco earlier today. However, when we got there, apparently a lot of other people thought of the same thing. And um, the queues to go inside, um, to go inside, the queues to go inside Costco is, is, um, is so long that um we just decided to leave because I wasn't really scared of the queue, you know. I'm I'm I was ex expecting, of course, that there will be a lot of people who will be going to Costco. However, I didn't realize that I uh, I what I didn't like was that um we could actually I didn't like waiting in line and potentially um, exposing my son because our son was with us during that time. And I didn't want to queue for a long time and then end up, end up having a lot of people inside the store and then uh, exposing him to anything. So that's the reason why we decided to just let it go. My purpose was only to go to buy some milk boxes of milk and 
meal and what else and get his favorite noodles the mi goreng noodles that is actually available in costco it's one of his favorites so we still have about half a box left so i think by september 13 hopefully the half of a box should be enough to um for him i <laughs> will see i really have no idea but he actually likes all instant noodles, not just me goreng. So uh, he actually likes um, those cup noodles as well that has other, like beef that has soup on them. So he likes those as well. So, um, so I think having those and and the leftover me goreng, it should be fine. And what we did was just to buy extras of like. We went to Aldi instead to buy some milk and stuff. So um, I didn't see any, well, in Aldi, there wasn't any shortages. There wasn't any, not shortages, but I, I didn't see anything out of stock um, in Aldi earlier. Um, but my friend, when I told her that um, we actually attempted to go to Costco and that um we will not be able to go to Costco for the next six weeks. They decided to venture out and go to Costco before the, before the, um, what do you call that? Before the, the restrictions, the five kilometer radius restrictions kicks in tonight. So she went there and apparently... A lot of people have cleaned out the shelves of Costco already because by the time she got there, got there, it was already late in the afternoon, and yeah, and people have already <laughs> cleaned out the shelves of Costco. Oh, so yeah, so in gro groceries will still be open anyway, so there really is no um reason to panic over um items. It's just that. During this lockdown, I actually want to limit the time or the, the frequency of me having to go out of my house. And however, I don't know whether I have everything I'm planning to, to do for my son's birthday. So I don't know whether you guys have any suggestions to make my son's birthday special. Because his birthday is on the 21st of August. So it's in a few weeks time. And he actually cried the other day. Because he, he was asking me if his friends could come over. And I was telling him, babe, we are on lockdown. I don't think they can come. Because um, we during when I was talking to him, that was the time that... um um visitors couldn't go to our house however because of the stricter rules now we also cannot go out that often we cannot go out to cannot go out essentially <laughs> we can go out for an hour to do our exercise and stuff but i don't know whether we'll do that I don't know whether I'll I'll risk it. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. So so now and then um that time he was bummed out because he wanted his friends to come over for his birthday. He was telling me, Mom, it's okay if they cannot come and visit today, they can come on my birthday instead. I was telling him, babe, I don't know whether whether um whether they could come at all because that time there wasn't even a talk of uh of any any stage for a lockdown <sighs> and i was hoping i was being optimistic thinking that um by his birthday we could actually celebrate even if just to go outside the house at the park but no <sighs> And so maybe you guys have, do you guys have any suggestions on how to make it more special for him? So now, because everybody can't go outside of the five kilometer radius and of from wherever they live, 
how, what can I do for him? So I bought some decorations, which I haven't even thought of how to set up. Because <laughs> he's always with me. Like 24-7. How do I keep it a secret? He's always with me. The only time I could do it is when he's asleep. But I couldn't do it like in advance, like a few days in advance. Because we live in a small house and he goes to all the rooms. Of course, he doesn't look at any of the, the cabinets, inside the cabinets. He doesn't open them. But if he did, what do I do? How do I make it special? Aside from the gifts and the, and the decoration, how do I make it special for him? Because now we couldn't go out. What do we do? Play with him? What do we do? That's my concern. So I will probably make some Zoom calls. I don't know whether his friends could... They could have Zoom chat. They haven't done it before. We'll see. <gasps> I'm so sad. I'm bummed out that we cannot go shopping outside of the 5 kilometer radius. But that's the good thing about... um about That's the good thing about... What do you call that? That's the good thing about online shopping, guys. <laughs> You can still go and shop, but the delivery, you have to wait for delivery to reach you. So now we couldn't go out of our 5 kilometer radius. Good thing, there's a, like a small, there's a mall near us. But it's not the mall that we usually go to because it doesn't have all the brands that we like. And we normally buy if they don't have all of the brands that we normally go to so I have no idea anyway we haven't been shopping a lot anyway just I've been indulging in more of my hobbies <laughs> yeah I've been indulging in my diamond painting guys I haven't been ordering for the past few months since I'm still waiting for a couple to arrive so a few have already landed in Sydney but I don't know when I'll be receiving them <sighs> what happens now and then the the funny thing is that um, it's not funny really but Like um, in other, I, I got news from friends in Philippines that um, it's actually a requirement now for them to start wearing face shield. And I, I'm like, do people here in Australia even wore face shield? So when we went to Aldi earlier, I'm like, I'm quite surprised. A few people actually wear wear them while they're shopping i'm like hmm, maybe i should start um using face shield as well that there's nothing wrong in protecting myself even more i'm already <laughs> i'm already uh paranoid why not take it a not notch higher <laughs> yeah so and then my husband, they were, and the MP was saying that, um, come, he will actually announce certain industries that will actually have to close down. Um, he will categorize certain industries from, I don't know how he will categorize it, but, um, uh, from, from essential to the non-essential, from the most essential to the least essential, I guess. Uh, businesses so my husband is secretly hoping that his his work is included in the non-essential so that he could catch up with all the paperwork that he has pending on his from his work 
is my husband actually goes works in construction and he has a lot of paper and he works on um, multiple sites they have multiple projects as well so now he's wishing that um he's secretly wishing that um his industry is part of the is part of the non-essential <laughs> non-essential work so he could catch up with all his paperwork and i was like hmm that that is a nice idea so we could um we could save on the masks <laughs> Save on the mask. Actually, we have we already had a, a bunch of masks that we were able to um we were able to buy before the actual before mask was even mandatory. And then um a few days after after um, the MP had announced that um, that face shields are uh, sorry masks are are now mandatory, stocks of masks are like wiped out everywhere. You couldn't find you couldn't buy any mask anywhere. Yeah, but um, yesterday when we went to one of the stationery store, stationery store office office supply store. We were able to find masks. Yeah, so my husband now has extras that he uses for for work. So I'm not really too worried about that. It's just that um, the MP had shared that apparently because now the um, there there's like groups of ADF personnel and um, police police officer who actually door knocks people people who were positive who turned out positive with covid but they couldn't uh, contact over the phone so um what they did was to door knock, knock them one by one and they found out that out of 500 people that they door knock there were 130 people who were not inside their house so apparently more than 25 percent of the people who are contaminated are not isolating properly they are going out of their house i don't know what they're doing whether they're doing some exercise or doing shopping but they're not inside the house they were supposed to be isolated like isolated doing um uh, they were supposed to self-isolate however they couldn't be found at home so when the police and the adf personnel were trying to knock on their doors there was nobody answering so that number is a huge number that gets me paranoid and lately because i haven't been doing it since the the end of the first lockdown i haven't actually been diligent in cleaning up my groceries but now because a lot of people are actually <laughs> not at home and probably at their work or doing shopping so now i'm very paranoid with the with the groceries so every time we buy groceries i actually had to wipe down everything one by one or use my UV light to blast the blast the what do you call that blast the items with the UV rays I was like crap this takes a longer time it actually takes a longer time for me to sanitize everything uh, that we buy from outside um from from the grocery to our house it it gets tiring guys how do you guys do it like two bags worth of groceries actually takes me about an hour to clean 
My God. <sighs> that takes, that makes me, that's the reason why I feel so tired today. Because <laughs> we, I went to, we went to Aldi. And we bought some stuff. And it's only about, oh, I forgot. Apart from Aldi, we dropped by the chemist and one of the two dollar shops and i was and we bought some some garbage bins oh my god i had to clean all the garbage bin i think that's one of the reason why because i bought four garbage bins <laughs> so my god maybe that's the reason why i'm so tired <laughs> blame it on the garbage bins not on the not on the <laughs> What they call that not on the groceries <laughs> so i haven't actually been hoarding anything well i did i did hoard some spam <laughs> yeah because whenever um we whenever there's a sale for spam i actually buy a lot because it's normally i normally buy them during a half price sale that's the reason why I take advantage of the sale and buy a lot of it. Yeah, but but um, the past few months, we haven't had any sale for the spam. So when we went to Costco maybe two or three weeks ago, I bought a few. Well, I, not a few. I bought a lot. Okay. So I bought a lot. So it would probably last us for about two or three months worth of spam. And then since my son eats a lot of Ritz, he eats tons of Ritz for snacks. Those are the things that I buy as well whenever it's on sale. So, so now I have a tower of a tower of Ritz at home. <laughs> One of our bedrooms is now my official stock room for grocery items. And before COVID, guys, I don't even buy a lot of grocery items. But now, because of this COVID, I, I, it made me realize that I actually should keep extras of and everything case in point like today people were panic buying again people were panic buying although actually I don't see a reason why people should panic buy I I I don't I don't know whether their reason is because they feel that um there would be a shortage in stock if um, they they were worrying about shortage in stock that actually isn't a problem here because the groceries will remain open the entire time so I don't know why people are panic buying if your reason is because you don't want to go out of your house any more than necessary then stocking up on multiple items that are staples in your pantry is actually a good idea because that's what I've been doing. Um I'm not really worried about the about the you know whether there will be a shortage or not. My wor my concern is that I don't want to go out of the house. I don't want to go out of the house at all if I could help it. <laughs> yeah, so my reason isn't really. And plus, because I'm, I'm really hating the limits right now. The limits that they impose on each person. I'm like, what the hell? Especially now that... um. 
only one person per family could go out of the house to do shopping per day. So that means that, because before when I shop, when I shop for grocery items, I normally shop at, um, I normally shop with, with a few, where I always shop and make sure that um, I have a few stocks on hand. So let's say pasta sauce. I always make sure I actually have four pieces of pasta sauce at hand. But because now there's an issue with, uh, there's a limit to what a person can buy. A person can only buy two at a time. And the, uh, and the, uh, what do you call that? The teal, the, when you go and pay, the machine will actually block you from transacting and purchasing more than two of pasta sauce so <laughs> yeah so it's actually hard to shop especially if you have a huge family i pity the family that actually has um have a lot of um a lot of members like, um, how do you feed a family of, let's say, seven or eight with just two pasta sauce? So you have to keep buying. You have to keep going out and keep buying every day just to, you know, just to feed your family if that's the case. Yeah, so, you know, the, the limits, the, the limits that they have put on is actually quite ridiculous. Especially if you have a family, you have a family, you have a huge family to feed. That's really ridiculous. It should be like, um, there should be like, um, like a condition to the limit. Like you can only buy two if you're feeding one to three people. In your family but that's too hard to actually monitor but that's the reason why a lot of people prefer to, to go to Costco because when you buy you buy in boxes or in trays so you actually get more than buying in regular grocery stores and now we couldn't go because it's like we couldn't go because it's outside of our five kilometer radius. <sighs> so anyway, it's okay guys because I found out Aldi actually doesn't have limits. I'm like, oh, Aldi doesn't have limits. But the brands that I normally buy is not in Aldi. However, it's okay. If you're talking about the type of food you could actually buy the only thing that Aldi um, regulates in quantity I think is a toilet tissue that's it but the rest are like you can buy as much as you want and they wouldn't stop you from buying yeah so how are you guys so I've been actually doing homeschool. I have been homeschooling my son for the past two weeks now. And the first week I was struggling because I didn't have enough time. I actually couldn't record anything. I couldn't record anything. I couldn't. I couldn't record. I couldn't. What do you call that? I couldn't record and I couldn't edit anything because I was so busy doing things, teaching my son things, and um, helping him um, navigate through his classes. Yeah. But now, uh, because uh, it's on work, 
going to the third week of um, remote learning, I'm like, I'm actually pro, I'm actually, um, I think that um, the school or the government should extend online learning for the rest of the year. I really think that um, doing so will protect the kids. Protect the kids. I really, really hope that um, they don't just do this for the rest of the term three and then lift everything again for term four. I really think that they should just continue doing this for the rest of the year. My son, I'm really sorry if you can hear my son. He's actually using his scooter downstairs and that's him. <laughs> that's what you you guys are hearing, guys. It's not a bowling pin. <laughs> it's not skates. It's my son doing doing um uh using his scooter downstairs. And you can hear it uh, right up here. Oh my god, I can't wait to see the stocks, to get the stocks of my other special drills, my other sparklers. <gasps> I'm so excited guys, look at that. Can you see how nice all the, all the, can you see how the other... You see how the sparklers and the AB drill shine? Oh, I can't wait. So I'm trying to power through all the... All the... What do you call this? The diamond paintings? Because I need to finish, I think, 10 to 11 paintings by December, before Christmas, guys. And I hope my friends are not listening to me while I'm telling... Well, I'm telling you guys, these are the Christmas gifts that I'm planning to give out to my friends. And for my friends who are watching, please ignore me saying this. I, whew, I'm so excited. I'm getting good at doing this, guys. Doing the... The lettering. I'm getting good at this. For you guys who haven't seen me, seen the video that I did on how to um, add your name or your initials to a painting instead of names or um, initials, you could also do this, like um, put a word in. So in this case, I put love. Um, the others, I am not too sure if I have the space. We'll see. But I'm quite excited because at least I was able to um, create my own touch. Um, to, I was able to customize this painting that I'll be giving out to my friends. So it's not generic that, um, that you see other people are doing. So if you guys want me to provide you like the template of this, this love, if you guys want me to give out the template of this, the pattern, just tell me and I'll do that for you guys. I'm quite excited. So maybe I should um, do a few more different words. Ooh. See, I'm using I'm using my knife placer. This was the actually actually knife placer was the first multi placer that I had, and for a long time this was the only multi placer that I had. 
I didn't have any of the sixth placer and the fourth placer. The only multi placer that I had was the ninth placer. And I've learned to actually just go ahead and use it. Uh, and I know a lot of people are like scared to do it, to use it. Well, it's quite easy to use it in, in rounds. As you can see, just pick it up and then just slowly tip it one side and then lay it down and then like that. Let go. Keep doing that. See, it's not that hard. Tip it. Like that. Ooh, there's a space. Oh, there you go. You can see if it's it's not aligned, like adjust it with your with your um single placer. And there's nothing to it. Just keep doing it. <laughs> nothing special, guys. So it's like also like the fourth placer. But with such a huge space of white, just um, 5200, it's easy for me to actually use the knife placer. Just do it like that. There you go. Keep doing that. So during this time, my goal, guys, is to actually reach my 1K subscribers. Thank you guys for continuing to watch my videos. And in just a short few months, I was able, I'm already about 900 subscribers. So in hopefully in a few more weeks, I'll be able to reach 1000. And for that, I will probably celebrate by um having another giveaway guys so let's talk about that um once i'm i'm i i'm i'm i have a uh, 1000 subscribers i'm so excited thank you guys for watching my videos and always sticking around if you have any ideas of what other videos i should um share for you guys uh, just comment down below on this video and I've actually done it's so hard to do unboxings right now <laughs> because now the shipment actually takes a long time a really really long time to reach me and um, so it's actually giving me it's actually giving me time to clear through my stash <laughs> yeah so my stash guys so hopefully um, I get to share with you some more some other unboxings really soon so I'm quite excited to see because um, I've ordered with other suppliers that I haven't um, tried before so most of the ones that are coming are actually from AliExpress and I've ordered in a with a few different stores that had reputable um reputable reviews from other um from other diamond painters so hopefully the ones that i got are really good i'm quite excited to actually start them as well however because i actually need to finish all this before christmas Everything else have actually been set aside while I'll I clear through the ones that uh I need to do for Christmas. So I actually finished maybe I think I finished three. Did I finish three? Oh this is the third. Is it the third? Yeah, I think this is the third one that um, I have done and um, still doing. Two, four, six, seven. 
yeah so this is the third one and I'm quite excited to finish all the ones that I have in pipeline <laughs> oh my god guys good thing they're in rounds and they're quite easy to do it's just that the time the time the time is my enemy guys I need to do this I had to I have to record a lot of videos for you guys I still have to edit and then I have to teach my son yeah because their homeschool is quite different from other countries their homeschool is more of school it's more of homework say so they give out like um a week's worth of activities that they're supposed to do so in the morning what the teacher do does is that um they have a, a daily meeting via google meet and then um they have is it google meet i think it's google meet yeah they they have a daily uh, meeting at the start of the morning to uh, talk about activities for the day it, I guess it's a way for the teacher to actually do attendance as well so that's about it that's the only thing they do talk about the activities that they're, they'll be doing for the day and then have a little bit of a joke time and then after that they leave the kids to actually do the activities on their own however you don't expect my son to actually just sit there and do it on his own <laughs> my son if he could get away with it he would actually not do his schoolwork and since he is only six turning seven in a few days time he actually what i do is I, I sit with him and supervise him doing his schoolwork sometimes he doesn't know what what to do so i help him out give him suggestions and how he could do his schoolwork so i would say that about 90 percent of the time i'm beside him doing his schoolwork until he finishes it otherwise if i actually leave him on his own to to do it it would take him the whole day but if i sit down with him we could probably finish the schoolwork in about maybe three to four hours but if he does it straight he could actually finish probably in in two hours two to three hours but because he, he his hands get tired from all the writing that's what he tells me he his hands get tired he needs a rest so he needs to use his he needs to read or use the math some applications some apps on the ipad to improve his math so he prefers that over writing the answers out. <laughs> it's irritating when we were kids we didn't have that so kids actually don't have a choice but to just write everything now my son is like can i just type the answer okay take note my son actually doesn't um is just starting to learn how to type so um He's six. He's six. And then at, at this age, they are already learning typing, guys. And they're learning coding at six years old. My God. <laughs> I'm actually quite happy for him that um, he likes to learn coding and um, uh, likes to learn how to type. But I'm like, wow kids nowadays are so different from from us from my generation like i only started using the computer i think when i was in sixth grade and i learned how to type using the typewriter guys <laughs> and kids nowadays
nowadays don't even know what a typewriter is oh my god i remember the time that i was actually learning how to type my dad actually will will get like um an article on a newspaper and ask me to type the whole thing the whole article using the typewriter i'm like <laughs> that's the that's the reason why I memorized the keyboard. It's because of my dad's training <laughs> to type articles of newspaper every day. <laughs> oh my god. If not an article of the newspaper, he will ask us to type... Um, what's that? The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Like a few pages worth of that sentence over and over again until you memorize the damn keyword <laughs> so that's how we started so i was like maybe i should do that with my son <laughs> i don't know whether um i'll be doing that anytime soon um i'm actually not rushing teaching him how to how to type but um Recently, like, um, recently, he, one of his activities recently was, um, he needs to actually, um, write a letter, write a letter or an email to a friend or a teacher. So, he ended up deciding to write an email to his teacher because he didn't want to. Um, right because his hands are tired from all the writing he de decided mom I would like to type instead oh my god kids nowadays I'm like oh my god <laughs> um, they're so privileged oh writing i remember previously when we we were younger we were who are when when we started writing we used to learn um writing in blocks in blocks in blocked form um but for some reason here in victoria the the kids are learning um the handwriting technique that they're learning is straight straight to cursive yeah so it's quite different that's the reason why i'm like hmm i don't know i i don't like how my son i don't like how my son's handwriting looks like <laughs> i was like maybe i should ask him to to write in a different form altogether <laughs> but that would be totally against the the way that um they're teaching them how to write hmm should i shouldn't i should should i teach him something new or should i not you know i just realized that kids nowadays are like so they are so um how do you say that they are so pampered in a way because because of the technology that they now have um at hand so last time when we were kids there are no on-demand channels there are no on-demand movies there is no YouTube. There is no Netflix. There's no Stan. <laughs> nowadays, the kids nowadays, my son in particular, don't even know what commercials are. So they know the ads that that are in YouTube. And they know they could skip that. <laughs> and um, there was a time that um, I opened the the tv to the network that we have the local network the local channels that we have here in australia <laughs> and then i remembered my son was like asking me 
Mom, can you skip that? <laughs> it was the commercial thing. <laughs> and he was telling me, he was telling me, Mom, can you skip that? Because all the while, when he's watching the TV, he's either watching Netflix, Stan, or YouTube. And he's the one who actually chooses whatever um, show or whatever um, video he wanted to watch. So he couldn't figure out why he doesn't understand why the ones in on the channel, <laughs> on the local channels, why the channels there, um, he couldn't he couldn't choose, he couldn't skip, he couldn't do anything. <laughs> It was so funny. Ah, oh my god. So I um, just realized the kids nowadays are so pampered. And you know, my son always complains. Not always complains, but one of his complaints is that, Mom, I'm so bored. And he, because he's bored, he wanted to play his iPad. I'm like, no, you're so bored. You play with your toys. <laughs> He will come to me and he will show show his face frowning and then telling me, Mom, I'm so bored. I want to play my iPad. It's not the iPad. He will ask to play for his, for his Switch. I'm like, mm, no, nice try. Nice try, but no. Because <laughs> um, we have a rule that he has to finish all his studies first before he could actually play or even watch the TV. And he, uh, during school days, he could only play with the gadgets for about 30 minutes. And then the rest, he could do it. Uh, he could watch the TV. But he cannot play the I iPad. <laughs> so that's what he tells me. Tells me that he's bored. I'm like, you want me to throw away all your toys? You're so bored. You do, you're so bored even with your toys. Let me throw all of them out if that's the case. <laughs> but you know, I pity him as well because he doesn't have any brothers or sisters yet. And with the lockdown, it could get really lonely for him. So there was when he when he was asking if his friends could come to his birthday, he he got upset and he cried when I told him that um they couldn't go to his birthday. Oh, so sad because, yeah, it's so sad being the only child. <laughs> for Well, for now. I don't know whether he'll have any other brothers or sisters. But, you know, it's so sad to see him. All alone. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, you guys, I hope um, wherever you are, you stay positive. Um, even in spite of everything that's happening, we always look at the, we try to look at the good side. Even if it's, you know, even if we're on lockdown. Look at the good side, guys. I hope you keep safe. Always sanitize your hands. Don't touch your face. Mask up, guys. Honestly, it's not a political statement to wear your mask. It's actually um, logical. It's the logical thing to do. Wear your mask. Pr protect yourselves. Uh, wash your hands regularly. Don't touch your face. And that's it. We should try to stay at home if you can. Don't go out unnecessarily. The first lockdown, I was like that. I'm like, uh, that time shopping wasn't that um, restrictive. But now, with all the... You know, with all the restrictions of the lockdown and stuff. You can hear my son yelling. With all the restrictions um, in place and you really can't do anything else. 
but to stay at home. <laughs> Good thing I have tons of diamond painting to show you guys. Yeah, don't worry. Even with the lockdown and even with the homeschooling, I should still be able to give you guys an update and show you guys the new projects that I have been doing. Yeah, there's still a few that you guys haven't seen yet. And hopefully, I would be able to show you guys soon. So, there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed all my angst and all the new stuff that I've been doing. And I'm quite excited to see this finish. I just wanted to show you once again. So far, this is what I have done. I've done the this bottom portion in this side. Probably, I'll be able to finish the... The rest of this side by tomorrow then i can work on the middle and then i can work on the middle like i said i'm quite excited look at that once again guys this is what the um the lettering looks like i'm getting it right guys you can see l o v e huh. i'm quite proud of the way i <laughs> i've done that the pattern that i've I've done to get this correct. <laughs> I'm quite proud of the, I'm quite proud of that, guys. So if you guys want to see or want to get your hands on this pattern, tell me, and I'll probably do it on my next video. So I hope to see you guys on my next update. Uh, remember to sparkle not like no other. Bye.